Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your 72-hour energy reading. So this is the energy for you for the next 72 hours. We'll break it down by love and romance and then career and finance. Thank you to all of my Geminis who support the channel, who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, let's see. Let's get into this. What do you have to tell Gemini for the next 72 hours for love? What are the love messages for Gemini? Okay. Six of Wands wanted to pop out. Nice. Okay. All right. Oh, the bottom of the deck, we have a star. Some of you could be dealing with Aquarius directly. I think Cancer had the star at the bottom of the deck also. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with uh, a Cancer or some something about renewal. Okay. Hierophant, Five of Cups, Nine of Wands. So this may once again renewal. Someone is on the outs. Someone is missing the other. Someone is uh someone got caught, I'm hearing. Maybe within a marriage doing something they weren't supposed to be doing. Uh now they are, you know, grieving the loss of or the separation. There's still someone looking in on the situation saying, Should I give either Gemini or whomever else a second chance this was very drama filled in this separation i am contemplating do i even want to jump back into this there is someone offering the olive branch the the laurel reef let's get back together let's renew let's heal let's celebrate Hmm. There could have been a love affair here. Someone was cheating in the marriage, during the marriage, before the marriage. Oh, Lord. Um, I'm hearing that both of you were doing it or somebody's got more than one person. What is this about? Success. You can't have success here. Let go, though. All right. There's someone wanting to come back and give you recognition. Maybe Gemini or you, the other person. Because they find that this situation is useful. They find that it fits in their life. Maybe you are both cut from the same cloth. Um, maybe, you know, it, it just works is what I'm hearing. Some, some of, uh, some people are coming back or you're going back to a situation because you find that it's useful. You find a sense of usefulness in it, in your life or for this person in your life. Maybe they buy you very nice things. They keep you in a very nice car. They keep you in a very nice home. Or you they. Okay. Uh, let's see what the shells have to say. Family. Love. Lazy. Ooh. So... Maybe there's an element of, you know, you guys have a family. The family is giving advice of, let's, you guys need to stay together. A newborn baby, maybe that's what this is. Home. Like I said, you have a new home. Uh, but someone feels like this is hard to stay in. Great body. Either you have that or you used to have that. Jealousy. And we have work. So someone feels like this is hard work to get this back on track. There may be an element of jealousy here. Maybe from a family dynamic with the five of cups here.
a few more cards of advice here. Nope. Okay. What is this situation about? Someone is... Oh. Someone is saying they have buyer's remorse. They didn't know that marriage was going to be this hard. They didn't know that it was going to be hard work. Someone is outright lazy. Maybe with the newborn baby or they want a newborn baby. There's an element of love here, but there's also an element of someone saying, this is not what I signed up for. This is things are not turning out how I thought how I thought they would. There's childishness and childish behavior here. There's an element of drama within the home, within the dynamic. Is there somebody else living in the home? There is someone wanting to get away, whether it's you, Gemini, or another person. Someone is saying, I didn't know that this was gonna be this hard. What is this about? Okay, three of pentacles. It's about someone has legal obligations also. And someone in maybe Gemini or the other person is helping the, the other person with the obligations. Someone, uh, there is also someone else within this dynamic who is, this could be friends, it could be family, it could be siblings, it could be neighbors. There's an element of someone... Uh, stand, uh, standing in the gap family family in the midst of okay so is somebody taking care of somebody's whole family ace of pentacles in reverse um, there's no solidification of this uh, marriage someone thought it would be different that you guys could solidify the marriage the union and start a new and uh, have some really good foundational energy. Okay. Six of Pentacles. But damn, somebody's money is messed up here also. It's like somebody is taking care of a whole family. Um, and not the family that they created. But in-laws and friends and cousins. And anybody that wants to stay. And this person needs a helping hand. And... There's someone in the midst of. There's also someone not doing their fair share. Lazy. There's inequality here. There's balance. There's lack of balance. Um, one more card. Okay. Eight of cups in reverse. There is or was no real merger. Pentacles in reverse. Jeez. Someone's work ethic is horrible. Someone doesn't. Someone's not consistent. Someone isn't bringing in the money on a consistent basis. Someone day to day basis routine. This person has not any or they make it up as they go. This person needs to work out. This person lost the great body. I don't know something about that. Okay. What's the advice for Gemini? Gemini, you may feel this way about someone or they feel this way about you. Somebody somebody is messing with somebody's money here. My nose is itching. So this is this is pretty accurate I must see what's the advice for Gemini in this situation for the next 72 hours the star card again get on your right path Gemini if this is you you're not on the right path the cards are asking you get on your right path this is not it you need to become more 
more confident in you with you your body yourself as in an in entirety as a whole this is someone the star card is someone who accepts who they are completely you have not done that you are not doing that you are accepting something beneath you or, or vice versa someone feels this way about you the two of cups once you get on that spiritual journey which you fail to take eight of cups in reverse a self-discovery of um, wanting to be in a more meaningful relationship environment not just after superficiality sex uh, drugs and rock and roll you'll find that spiritual union either in a person place or thing that marries you perfectly okay two of cups in the hierophant once again you'll find that person place or thing it could be a body of people also that resonates with your soul your soul group you're not aligned so you keep getting in bullshit or you keep attracting bs or you keep allowing yourself to be less than the high priestess this is like for some of you feel like there this is a real spiritual union what is this what's the advice ten of swords temperance some of you okay so we got two stories going here Jeez, some of you you want to go back to someone you want to renew you want to heal you, you feel like this was like a spiritual union the hierophant and the high priestess but there was an ending here the ten of swords because you probably couldn't find balance and or resolve compromise there's an element of someone being more learned or or having a stronger foundation a stronger foundation maybe even money was coming in good for this person something about timing in regards to somebody had i had plans secret plans of marrying someone or proposing to someone you either have them or you had them this is all over the place some of you are failing to go back to someone because you couldn't you wanted to solidify it but you can't you miss this person you wanted a family with this person Some of you are in situations where your partner or you are saying to partner, you're lazy. I cannot afford to take care of you and your entire family. I love you, but this is hard. I didn't know marriage would be so hard. There are a lot of people in the home or a new baby in the home. For some of you, the baby didn't come to fruition. There might have been a miscarriage or something of that nature or there isn't there's someone who's not able to carry okay career and finance get a personal reading Gemini this is this is really mucky career and finance for Gemini career and finance for Gemini Career and finance for Gemini. Okay. The bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. Some of you may have switched careers abruptly, quickly. Like this is like giving two weeks notice. 
or just knowing that you were going to do this had um had the opportunity presented itself and maybe it did ten of cups nice knight of cups nice nine of swords the hermit so you, you have reservation about this this change this sudden change because it's something creative all right and you and you're you're almost as if you're an independent contractor or you're your own boss so and this is scary for you because you have to be um you have to govern yourself accordingly you have to be your own self-starter and manager um this is uh You've got like some self-fulfilling prophecies of it. Maybe it not working. But it, it can very well work for you. Rather than against you. You need to really. You're looking for answers outside of yourself. Is this going to work? Am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? Blah, blah, this. Blah, blah, that. But the hermit card says you know the answer. You're looking for answers outside of yourself, but you know what the answer is. Rest and dwell in the past experience. Maybe something has been shifting and moving you to this place of doing something a little bit more independent. Maybe even working from home. You you're wondering if you go if you'll ever get here. Ten of Pentacles, long-term goals fulfilled here. Let's see what this shall say here. Career and finance for Gemini. It looks really good. Um, mental issues. Jeez, Jim. Open. Maybe you need to be open about that. About how you feel about this new start. Stop. Stop the mental issues. Um, it may be the self-hatred or the self-hate talk. Lack and crazy. Maybe because... Okay, so if this is more so entrepreneurship, there might be an element of lack. You don't see a turnover in regards to uh, a business and having your own business. A profit made where you can actually live off of all monies from business until about the third or fourth year that statistically so if you can't get through the third or fourth year due to the lack then maybe it, it, i don't know you know where the the problem lies in that but um maybe that that'll help you also get get through know that it won't always <coughs> be that way excuse me sentimental feelings maybe about the movement because this was like opportunity presented itself and you had to move on it but maybe you were already in a job seek it and find it yeah gain more knowledge information um about whatever it is you're trying to pursue didn't i just say this heavenly signs at the bottom of the deck heavenly signs may have been heaven may have been trying to push you towards this anyhow push you towards more of um being aligned with your your life's goal or your your life excuse me your life's um life path some of you are life path number one definitely leadership some of you just or or i'm seeing two um Do the work. Gain more knowledge, information about whatever it is you're engaging and embarking on. It can work for you, but you got to come out of these mental issues or mental hangups around this situation. There could even be family who are making you feel this way because it's so very new. Maybe entrepreneurship or working independently has never been something that was, you know, um, that was uh, celebrated in your family or successfully done uh, five of wands yeah opposing opposite you know opinion which then causes you confusion about this new start but it says lay down the burden that is you may need help you may need an assistant because you have seeds well planted you've done the work this is really really good 
you've done the work here uh, this is going to turn out well you've got some contracts in the making but you need help okay uh, eight of cups yeah I think now you're on the right path you're doing something more meaningful or you want it to sometimes you get fearful about this path of the devil card here of entrepreneurship the queen of wands uh, because you're doing so much and you may even be a busybody right now once again back to getting help but the cards say come out of being in, in two minds about it you're doing it make the decision to be committed to it so you can see the fullness of it the culmination of what this could really be don't divide yourself as many people do especially embarking in or on entrepreneurship immerse and merge yourself in it especially if you have done the work in regards to uh, actually doing this and, and planning for it okay it says take the leap of faith here come out of is this really working for me will this work for me yes it will all right thank you guys um, Gemini very interesting reading okay uh, if you feel like you need your own personal reading you can get a 72 hour energy reading just like this one go over to the website the link is below or you can book a 30 minute phone reading with me where you can ask me questions with the 72 hour energy reading I pull cards for love and romance career and finance you do not ask me questions I do not answer questions in that reading I pull cards I explain the cards you listen to the reading thank you Gemini thank you for all the support Take care, guys. Bye.